All right, so welcome to another beam tutorial. So in this example, we have a simply supported beams. We'll have a pin on one side and we have a roller on the other side. So we have a simply supported beam and we need to find the reactions. And then in the second video, we'll find the max shear and the max bending moment. Let's say this point is point A and this is point B. So let's say this is AY and this is AX. And here for our roller, we only have one reaction, which is BY. And we have our distributed load here, which is 15 kilonewtons per meter at this point, at the highest point in the triangle. So we have a triangular load. What we can do is we can write our equilibrium equations. So if some of forces in the X direction, they'll be equal to zero. So there'll be any forces going forwards or backwards. Any forces going forwards will be positive, backwards, negative. So we don't have any forces going in this direction. We only have our reaction AX. So our AX will be equal to zero. And then the next one, we have some forces in Y equal to zero. So any forces acting up or down. So any forces acting up will be positive, acting down will be negative. So the total force from our triangle will be the area, will be half the base times the height. So this triangle is from the one meter point up until the 4.5 meter point. So it'll be 3.5 meters for times 3.5 meters. And this would be multiplied by the height, which is 15 kilonewtons per meter. And this force is acting down. This force is acting down. So this will be a negative here. And then we have our two reactions, AY and our BY, and they're both acting up. So we'll have plus AY plus BY, that'll be equal to zero. And then our final equilibrium equation is sum of moments. And we can choose a point. Let's choose point A. Sum of moments around point A equal to zero. And we'll say anything in the anti-clockwise direction will be a positive. Anything in the clockwise direction will consider to be a negative. So we're taking all the moments around point A. We have our BY acting in this direction around point A. So the total distance is five meters. So it'll be a positive BY times five meters and then we have the force from our triangle acting in this direction around point A. The force we already know, this is our force from our triangle and we need to know this distance. What is this distance? This force will be acting at the centroid of the triangle and a centroid we know that from this side will be one over three and up to here, this will be two over three of the triangle. We know the triangle is 3.5 meters. That means two thirds of the triangle. If we write it here, it will be two over three multiplied by 3.5 and we'll get 2.33 meters. So if I get rid of this, this distance will be 2.33 meters. And then we have the remaining distance to our point A, which is one meter. So the total distance will be 3.33 meters. So we have our force is acting in the clockwise direction. So it'll be a negative, it'll be a negative. So we can write negative one over two times 3.5 meters times 15 kilonewtons per meter multiplied by 3.33 three meters. All of this will be equal to zero. So if we solve for BY, BY is equal to 17.5 kilonewtons. And then we can substitute our BY into here and we can find our AY. Our AY will be equal to 8.75 kilonewtons. So let's redraw our supports. So we have a pin and a roller. We have our AY and this was equal to 8.75 kilonewtons. Our AX is equal to zero kilonewtons. Our BY is equal to 17.5 kilonewtons. So the next video, we're going to find the max shear and bending moment.